Hi friends, welcome to my new video series on multiple choice questions on electrical engineering subjects. So let me start with transformers. So what is a transformer? Transformer is a static piece of device used to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another circuit by electromagnetic induction without any electrical connection between the two circuits. And here the frequency is also remaining the same. So the basic principle of a transformer is electromagnetic induction and there is no electrical contact between the two circuits basically they are called the primary and secondary and i have done a detailed video on transformer and its rating and basic operation please refer the description of this video now let us start with the first question an ideal transformer is one which has no losses and leakage reactants has same number of turns in primary and secondary does not work has one turn in the secondary so your time starts here and the answer to the question is an ideal transformer is one which has no losses and leakage yet the ideal transformer is one which is having the highest efficiency it is only ideal and it's not practically realistic so the second question is the primary and secondary of a transformer are dash coupled electrically magnetically electrically and magnetically mechanically so your time starts here yes most of you guessed it right the answer is magnetically coupled third question a transformer is so designed that the primary and secondary have high leakage reactants, tight magnetic coupling, large resistance, good electric coupling and the time starts now. Yes. The answer is tight magnetic coupling. Already I have discussed the working principle is by electromagnetic induction. So it requires basically a high magnetic coupling between primary and secondary. Going to the fourth question. No load power factor of a transformer is low because iron loss component of current is large, magnetizing component of current is large, magnetizing component of current is small, iron loss component of current is small. And here you go. And the answer is magnetizing component of current is large. Basically, the no load current has two components the iron loss component and the magnetizing component and under no load condition the magnetizing component is having a very high magnitude which leads to poor power factor now the fifth question if a transformer core has air gaps then the reluctance of magnetic path is reduced magnetizing current is greatly increased hysteresis loss is reduced ad current is increased and here you go The answer is the magnetizing current is greatly increased. So if the core has air gaps, the magnetizing current is increased. And the sixth question, a transformer operates poorly at low frequencies because permeability of core is increased, primary reluctance is too much high, magnetizing current is abnormally high, magnetizing current is zero. So the time starts here. Answer is magnetizing current is abnormally high. Magnetizing current leads to poor operation of transformer under low frequencies. Now the seventh question. The effect of leakage flux in a transformer is to increase copper loss, decrease copper loss, cause voltage drop in the windings, increase heating of the core. Yes. And the answer is cause voltage drop in the windings. Leakage in flux means some part of the flux from the primary is not reaching the secondary. So the induced EMF will be low. That means the voltage drop is there. So it causes voltage drop in the windings. Now the eighth question. Coils of transformers are built up to nearly circular cross section in order to reduce leakage reactants, iron loss, eddy current loss, copper loss. Here you go. And the answer is it is done to reduce the 
copper loss so cross section is made circular to reduce the copper loss and then iron coating when the secondary of a transformer is short circuited the primary inductance is decreased is increased remains unchanged becomes zero here you go and the primary inductance is decrease when you short circuit the secondary of a transformer the 11th question when load on a transformer is decreased dash loss is decreased eddy current hysteresis copper friction and here you go and the answer is copper loss you know that the copper loss is proportional to square of current or copper loss is given by i squared r where i is the current and r is the resistance of the winding so as the load current is increased copper loss is also increased the 12th question in a practical transformer copper losses account for about dash of the total losses 10 percentage 25 percentage 50 percentage 85 percentage and here you go yes you guessed it right 85 percentage so in a transformer the maximum losses are because of the copper losses now the 13th question the core type transformer is generally suitable for high voltage and small output low voltage and high output high voltage and high output low voltage and low output so you your time starts here and the answer is high voltage and small output so core type transformer is used for high voltage and small output applications 14 question the primary and secondary windings of an ordinary transformer always have different number of turns the same size of copper wire a common magnetic circuit separate magnetic circuit here you go yes the answer is they have a common magnetic circuit which is the basic requirement of a transformer now the 15th question in performing short circuit test on a transformer usually low voltage side is short circuited because it has high current rating low current rating low insulation ec access here you go and the answer is high current rating so in a short circuit test we are short circuiting one side of the transformer and mostly we are short circuiting the low voltage side because when we are short circuiting the low voltage side we are applying the supply on the high voltage side where the current is minimum current is low and the requirement of a short circuit test is that we have to give rated current in the primary so for applying rated current in the primary under short circuit condition we will only require low voltage also so it is better to do short circuit test by short circuiting the low voltage side now the 16th question under heavy loads transformer efficiency is comparatively low because voltage drops in both primary and secondary becomes very high secondary output is much less compared to primary input copper loss becomes high in proportion to the output iron loss is increased considerably here you go yes and the answer is copper loss becomes high in proportion to the output so already told copper loss is equal to i squared r or it is proportional to square of the current as under heavy load condition current is very high copper loss becomes very high reducing the efficiency now the 17th question in a transformer iron losses are zero constant variable very high here you go yes you guessed it right constant iron losses of a transformer are constant transformer rating is given in va watts ah coulombs here you go yes you guessed it right too 
transfer is VA or volt ampere. A transformer is basically rated in VEA, KVA or MVA. Now I'll explain why in the next question. Transformer is rated in KVA instead of KW because load power factor is often not known. KVA is fixed whereas KW depends on load power factor. Total transformer loss depends on volt amperes. It has become a customer. Here you go. Yes, the answer is load power factor is often not known. So we don't know what is the type of load that we are going to connect in a transformer. So we are not sure about the power factor of the load. So it is not possible to guess the power factor. So only we can say the apparent power or the amount of power that is to be transferred. So always transformers are rated in VA or KVA or MVA and I have done a detailed video on the rating of a transformer and the link to that video is also attached in the description. Please refer. And the final question is leakage fluxes of a transformer may be minimized by keeping the magnetizing current to minimum, reducing the reluctance of the iron core to the minimum, avoiding overloads sectionalizing and interleaving the primary and secondary windings. Here you go. And the answer is the leakage fluxes can be minimized by sectionalizing and interleaving the primary and secondary winding. So in a transformer the primary and secondary windings are sectionalized and they are wound like interleaved structure. So that is all for this video thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe like and share thank you see you in the next video